I'll just put somewhere here, okay? Because it's Mexico City, guess. 8.3 kilometer. This is quite amazing. I wanted to see how accurate I can get on GeoGuessr with the help of O3 and O4. So I've got the three free location today and I'm a complete beginner on GeoGuessr. As you can see that I'm just like on level one and I'm going to click play and then it is going to give me a place which I have to guess in two minutes. Okay, so let's copy this entire place. I'm going to copy this, go to chat GPT and then say O4 mini high. Be a geo guesser and um, guess this in uh, 40 seconds and help me to pin the place on a map okay so i've uh, given this so oh i forgot to paste the place okay i've pasted the place so it is thinking and uh, what it does particularly really good is it can go look for clues on this image so it's trying to identify like different parts of this and then try to figure out what is this one thing i felt that uh, o3 doesn't do well is that it thinks a lot even if you give a condition doesn't uh, stop limit within that particular time so it says i'm betting this is nigeria most likely in lagos area and uh, kent ro is there nigerian market it says nigeria around lagos so let's go to nigeria okay around lagos cool let's guess it it's 426 kilometers distance um okay 4,443 points. Not bad, I guess, but uh, not also very good. So I'm going to start the next round. Okay, we have got um, a place here. I can also zoom in and then see this place. Okay, so I'm going to go, go to this one and uh, start a new chat. Be a geo guesser and guess this place and help me pin on the map. Max. 40 seconds cool we have pasted it going back here just looking at the place while it is making the prediction i don't see a signboard um i don't see it's english okay so here we have got a different language which uh, if my language understanding is very good it's most likely korean and we have got all these different places so at least it is korean so let's see if uh, if it is that good okay Pretty sure this is South Korea. You can Kore see Korean bus marking. Zoom in on Korean Peninsula, find Seoul. That's it. Near Jamsi Nanam boundary. Okay, so I'm going to go go find Korea, South Korea to be precise. And then where do I put this? It says near Jamsil Nanam boundary. Jamsil. Where is Jamsil? Okay, I have to first go to Seoul. Okay, I'm going to lose on time. And I'll just put somewhere for now. I honestly couldn't find the place. Okay, cool. Let's guess it. 2.2 kilometers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is, that's, that's amazing. Start the next round. Okay, this is interesting. I can look around for places. See, also, as you can see here, I'm just like giving the first place. Okay, I'm not giving a lot of information here. So I'm going to just take this. Be, be a geo guesser and find this place in 30 to 40 seconds and help me place the pin. Okay, so we have uh, given the instruction. So let me explore it and then, I don't know, this letters look Spanish, maybe. Okay, it's got the word Santos, which I think it's a Portuguese word, I guess. So maybe it is Brazil. I can't understand anything in this. Uh, we have already almost finished one minute. this this water thing okay so let's go back here so it says based on this bri bright colors um, the water jug it says mexico city mexico drop your pin around these coordinates in the eastern central part okay so i'm going to go to where do we find mexico um give me give me a closer name mexico city i don't know if it can give me any other name 
Mexico. I don't think. Okay, Mexico City is here. Okay, Mexico City is here. What is the name it is going to give me? It's thinking again. I hope it's faster. But uh, I'm going to just place the pin. Mexico City. I've got 18 seconds. It says within east and uh, central part. So okay, I've got 13 seconds. I'll just put somewhere here. Okay, because it's Mexico City. Guess. 8.3 kilometer. This is quite amazing. I mean, the fact that this is all using. Uh, okay, so it says you're actually in Colonia Oberia. Is this the right answer? Colonia Oberia. Not sure. Not sure about it. And for this matter, like I've used GPT. Uh, sorry, I've used ChatGPT's O4 Mini High, not even O3. And O3 for all the reasons that you would think it's pretty good at geo guessing whatever that. You give us an input not just the pictures from internet even if you have gotten anything like you know personal phone you can just share it with that and then it is pretty good at guessing and if you go through the thinking process like couple of things it does pretty well one it uh, goes and then looks for uh, the clues in the given image see unlike i have the access to the mouse where i can go 360 degree and then see the street view it cannot do it all it has to do is guess with the input image that i give the second thing is it also does a pretty good job of taking different photos within the image I gave. So in this case, we gave a strong deadline, which is like 30 to 40 seconds. So it did not do, but I gave a different image. I'll show you that image and you'll be pretty fascinated. So this is an image that a friend shared with me. This was taken at HSR layout in Bangalore. If you're familiar with Bangalore, you would know that this is, um, I'm not sure how easy it is for anybody to figure out, but uh, you can see some signs that you have got like McDonald's here, you've got Baiju's here, you've got KA registration car, but also you've got POI registration cars, so which means this is Pondicherry, this is Karnataka. There is a, like a bit of, uh, you know, confusing element there, but I think it's pretty easy to figure out. First of all, it is Bangalore. But what it does, O3 does, is pretty fascinating. So it thought for four seconds and then it gave me a place. Okay, it's outside of McDonald's Baiju Center and HSR layout and it gives me this coordinates. Okay. I'm going to open this and then paste this coordinates and you will be pretty fascinating what it shows. So maps, I'm going to open the maps, go put this coordinate and just paste it here. It's not there. Seriously. All the appreciation I did was for waste. Okay. So it went to this place and all you have to do is like zoom in a little bit. And then you see the McDonald's and you go to the McDonald's and then you use street view and very, very, very immediately you can start finding that McDonald's um, logo and buy juice somewhere here. So let me go here. So you have got buy juice and that McDonald's It's quite fascinating. And if you see the thinking process, so you can go see here uh, with the thinking process. It takes different pictures and tries to analyze all the different elements, which is what GeoGuessers do actually. But because O3 has got access to this image thinking or visual thinking or think with images, it does a pretty good job of taking different things. In fact, like it's looking at the trees, the leaves, and uh, you can see it looks at all these things. It looks at different places, different signboards, and then try to figure out um, like, where is this? Uh, can it like analyze something? So you can see here, it's trying to read the signboard. It's trying to read Kannada. It's trying to do all these things by writing Python code, just basic image transformation. And then finally comes back to me. And then it says, this is the location. And it says it's pretty uh, much like 25 meters plus or minus accuracy. I know it's got internet access, um, kind of like it can go do reverse image search. I'm not sure. I don't think in this case it did reverse image search, but rather what it did is once it identified that it's got Baiju's there. So it decided to figure out where the Baiju's could be in the nearby location that Baiju's and McDonald's are closer, but still it's pretty fascinating. I think we live in a, we live in a time that if you, if you are live somewhere, you maybe shouldn't share your picture on the internet if you want privacy, because anybody can easily figure out using O3, O4 mini high. It's high. It's, it's, I think it's, it's highly intellectual in terms of geo guessing. And that's something that, you know, time and time again, like I've figured out using this, these tools at this particular point. So if you want secrecy or privacy, do not share your picture online with, you know, a lot of information at the time when you are at that particular place. If you don't like, if you are like Mr. Beast or somebody who's very famous, if you're like me and you, like, I think it shouldn't matter. 
एनीवेज आई होप दिस वाज लाइक अ फन वियर्ड वीडियो लेट मी नो व्हाट यू फील अबाउट इट सी इन अदर वीडियो हैप्पी प्रॉम्प्टिंग